Welcome back to Alma, Missouri for episode 23 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's August 1, and as you've seen, the daily sales have been done. I did buy a second one of those boxes, that's just over there, over at the um, all-in-one production, or up around there by the store. So I haven't got to transport it back and forth, so all I've got to do is drive over there and I go around and do all my selling. Today's methane has been sold as well, and I'll say we're back up to 493. We dropped down... Um, we were up to about 500,000 because I did a couple of contracts. A fertilizing one, what was the other one I did? I can't remember. Um, oh, it was harvesting, wasn't it? Is it the canola harvest? Anyway, <laughs> I did some. And then something came up on the second hand market during the night. I'll explain why during the night in a moment. Um, I'm going to put that up on the screen now. So, yeah, I bought it. So we're going to take this one back and we're going to trade this in. I say trade it in, we've already bought the other one. We're going to sell this one, which will be money towards it. And I think by the end of selling all of our products today, including the methane, then selling this tractor, we're going to be better off having bought that other tractor as well, which is absolutely bonkers. Anyway, got the trailer because there's some stuff I need to buy. Now, today's episode has gone off on a bit of a tangent. Uh, and there is a reason for this. At the end of the last episode, I was talking about buying two new harvesters. And that was my plan. Two new harvesters. Happy days. Um, on the proviso that... We'll have a look on the map. On the proviso that this big field here, field 22, which was growing soybean, would come up for harvest. And that was going to be an absolute monster. We had this field here as well that was re almost ready for harvest. So, um, what I often do is I'll skip through the night to the following day, and then if the contracts pop up for harvesting, I'll pick up those contracts. So, what, I, what then transpired was a series of a few hours of trying to manipulate the result, in that when I skipped ahead, both those fields had been harvested. I didn't even get a look in, didn't get an option, didn't get options for the contracts. Both of them came up for cultivating, one came up for plowing, one came up for cultivating. So I went back to my previous save, and I know this isn't narrative, this isn't story, and this is just me explaining. So what I then did was I skipped, I, I sped up time and went forward hour by hour. I thought what I'll do is, on the particular hour that those come up to harvest, I'll join on the spot, bang, grab them. It didn't matter what I did, what permutation, how I tried it. I tried speeding up time slower. I tried to go faster. I tried to run through at a normal time. It didn't matter what I did. Both of those fields went from growing to the point where they should have been ready to harvest. They went ready to harvest, straight to cultivating, never got an option to harvest them. So my plan of buying two brand new harvesters and running three harvesters on that field today went out the window. So... What we've now got instead, which I'm probably going to have to do off camera, I've got these cultivated, well, two ploughing and one cultivating, but look at what they pay out. 55 grand, 39 grand and 65 grand. So we're going to make a tidy bit of money. So this is where we go off on a bit of a tangent. My tomatoes that I was producing that are going to my ketchup factory, these four greenhouses here for tomatoes are incredibly slow slower than the pumpkins seem to be i don't know why um and slower than the strawberries were so i bought these two which are a faster processing i mean not ridiculously fast but a faster processing type of greenhouse so i'm going to demolish these four greenhouses not two these four greenhouses are going to go the reason why now is a good time is because i've got the tomatoes out of them and they're only on 19 litres each. So by demolishing them, I'm only losing water, which I can replace free. So I'm not, it's not like they're almost ready for a new pallet or anything like that. So these can be demolished. Now there's a lot of, I don't know if these are modern greenhouses, whether they are still glass or whether they're a type of kind of perspex, aren't they? 
sort of ridged perspex. Anyway, they're going to be demolished. I'm going to put in two more of these ones, which will be faster processing. So with four of those type of greenhouses, that should cover my tomatoes. In this space, I'm putting in two different greenhouses because of something I'm planning. And again, you may have already seen on the thumbnail. You probably have already seen on the thumbnail. Um, I'm going to grow coffee. Because I think what the town needs is a coffee house, a coffee shop. Now, in between that process, now I'm hoping I haven't hit my maximum... <laughs> this could be another problem. If I hit my maximum of um, productions available, I might have an issue. Hopefully not. Um, we're going to need to roast that coffee. So we'll have two greenhouses that grow it. We'll have a coffee roasting facility and a coffee shop. Now, the plot of land up in the town where the... If you remember the wood sale that's sort of seasonal, this little plot here where the wood sale thing is... Um, that's now available to buy. The wood sale is gone. Like I said, it's a seasonal thing. And that's only... How much is that to buy? 12,261. So we're going to buy that plot. That's where I want to build the coffee shop. We're going to build a coffee shop on there. Now, as to where we're going to put the um, roasting facility, I'm going to try and put it on one of these plots here. So the roasting will happen in town. But the greenhouses will be here. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to head off into town. Because I think the coffee greenhouses require liquid fertilizer so the other thing i'm going to need to do is go to here because we've got fertilizer being produced but not liquid fertilizer so i'm going to need to buy which isn't cheap is it there are probably cheaper options out there there are tons of pallet mods and stuff like that but in all honesty i think we'll just bite the bullet and um it doesn't matter whether we go for cortiva or we go for helm i'm gonna go for helm i'm gonna be buying two of those which we're going to go and collect with the trailer. So while I'm gone, we'll get the greenhouses demolished. And then I'll get the new ones put in. I'm pretty sure they're all the same size, so they should all fit into these slots, no problem at all. Then I need to crack on. I have leased a plough, a big plough, and we've got our two cultivators. So with our three tractors, we should be able to get our cultivating and ploughing done, I say relatively quickly, hopefully relatively quickly. I will start that off on camera, but I think I'm going to get those contracts done. So by the time you then next see me, we should be another hundred and something thousand up. So we should be just over, well, maybe, oh no, I've got by greenhouses, around 600,000, somewhere around there, which is pretty cool. So I'm pretty sure the coffee house is 50 grand. The coffee roasting is 80 grand. So we've got a bit of money to invest, um, but that's the plan. I don't know if you can hear. Can we hear glass smashing? I don't know. The greenhouses should be being demolished as we speak. So, I'll see you up at the town in a moment. We will swap over our tractors. I will load up the liquid fertiliser onto here. I'm sure it was... <laughs> I haven't just bought two things of liquid fertiliser that I don't need. I'm sure it's liquid fertiliser. Um, and then I will get our new tractor. Oh, it's lovely. And uh, start the ploughing. Which fields was it in your ploughing? I've done it again. I have a look on here i show you and i don't actually pay attention 34 and 10 and 22 right 34 is that one there 10 is the one just up past our cornfield and 22 is the big one that had soybean in it okay so there's the big old plow i've leased liquid fertilizers in front if i just put that across the way i've got my forklift that we're using Actually, we don't need to, we're not really using that now because we've got the cell thing. I don't need to load trailers up with the forklift. Well, that's not owned by me. That's owned by the shop, to be fair. Um, so what we're going to do now is take this John Deere back. There's our new one. That was, what was, it, what was the thumbnail say? The thumbnail, the picture say? That was, what, 58% off or something? It's a big upgrade as well. It's 400. Is it 400 horsepower? It's a lot. Actually, we can find out, can't we? If we go to our... Uh, large tractors what is that one 357 yeah it's a bit of a step up because our other one is only what's that one 280 so yeah a bit of a jump up on it very nice so let's repair this we'll repair it we'll repaint it because we'll make our money back as we found out Now, why am I going John Deere for John Deere? In all honesty, I bought the McCormick in the last episode. 
yeah um this just came up the, the new one came up on second hand i didn't it wasn't an option i say an option of course it was an option um repaint 46 grand i hope i make that money back oh yeah value 183 oh that's not bad this to me oh um that's more than i paid for the other one isn't it <laughs> So we're up to 608 now. 609 now. That's without doing all those other jobs. God, that was an absolute result, that. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Bit of an upgrade, isn't it? So, what I'm going to do is I'll take this over and start ploughing. Once I get to a point I can set a worker off, I'll set a worker off. Then I'll get my cultivating going with my other two tractors. I'll get these two pallets loaded onto the trailer. We'll come back for those later on. And hopefully by the time that's all done, the greenhouses... Well, actually, by the time you next see me... I'm just thinking, do I need a front weight on this? Potentially. By the next time you see me... Um, we may have the new greenhouses in. Oh, that was the other thing I was going to show you. Um, because I own the land around here, you know I said about making see if i could get a way through where the fencing is i actually mulched down a couple of the trees around here so to avoid going along the main road if i've got big equipment like this i can come round here which i tried before didn't i was it with this and it was quite tight getting out i've cleared a gap in the trees here so we can come out down the side of this grass field because it's grass will not do too much damage especially with tracks around the edge of this field and we can go out across the other farm so we don't actually have to go through the town with big equipment if we want i just yeah, thought it might make life a little bit easier it's not really a shortcut because you can't there's all the trees and stuff in that direction so i can't really cut across there and i can't couldn't remove the fence so it just made meant taking a couple of trees out so what i'll do is i'll go this on to field 34 we'll get plowing on there And I'll, I'll say it so many times, measure twice, cut once. The cultivating is field 22, yes. It would be, wouldn't it, the big field? Mind you, the two cultivators come in at just about 20 metres combined, so that's all right. Um, it is ploughing. I just want to make sure I do the right thing on the right field. Ooh. I'm trying to think I've used one of these on a Let's Play before. I bought one from... I don't think I have. I'm sure someone will remember if I have. Not that I need to go along the road here. I could have just gone straight straight across, but... That's gone to 34. I mean, this should make light work of the ploughing. Which is kind of what you need. And I'm sure this requires... This is the smaller of the two. I could have gone for the larger of the two ploughs, um, but that required... I think a little bit more horsepower, or almost exactly the horsepower this tractor has. Now, whilst these fields are fairly flat, I thought rather than put too much strain on them, we'll crack on. So, yeah, I'll see you in a little while. Hopefully, these contracts will be done. There may be a couple of little clips of um, and my equipment and machinery doing these jobs. But likewise, there might not. I'm going to have the new greenhouses in, and so my plan is to get the coffee underway. I want the coffee growing, so that as we go into August 2, we've got some coffee to take to the roaster. The roasting building we're going to have to put in, and then obviously once the roasting's underway, then we're going to have to look at the coffee shop. I'm hoping the coffee shop will fit on that plot. It should do. That's the side up around Lincolnshire. Late as taters. I have grabbed my liquid fertiliser. I have it on my trailer. Um, you know what? I don't think I've ever tried to put liquid fertiliser into a greenhouse from an IBC. 
I think I've always done it from a tanker. I'm trying to think now. I don't even know if this works. This, it should work, shouldn't it? It should just unload like everything else does. Or it should... No, it won't give me the trigger to unload. That would be in a trailer. I just thought like any other pallet would just pour out, but maybe not. Uh, what would I need to do? Maybe switch over, put it on... I'll get the telehandle with the forks. We'll try that and hold that over and see what happens. I'm not sure. Let's see, shall we? This is one of those things I've, I've, I've talked about before. What is amazing with this game still, we're in the third year of this game being out. There are certain aspects of the game that depending on how you play it, you won't have done. There aren't a lot, I mean, there, I say there aren't a lot of good, there aren't many sets of greenhouses that take liquid fertilizers. Some do, some don't. Of the ones that I've ever used, I've always done it with a tanker. I've never bought an IBC out. This is my first time doing this. Isn't that crazy? Three years into the game, you think, I've never done this before. I just assumed it would just unload at this point. But maybe it does actually. It just needs to be in a tanker for the trigger to work. Isn't that bizarre? I'm just going to double check this now. I think I'm going insane. This is definitely liquid fertilizer. Yeah. Liquid fertilizer. Uh, I don't know how much it takes, of course. That's the other thing as well. Um, I'm going to put 2,000 litres into each one, an IBC in each one. If it takes more, I'll top it up. Um, I don't know whether there's there's another container around the back. I'm going to leave it around the back? I'm not too sure. I'm going to have to give this some thought. I'm bringing one of my cultivators back to the store. Now, these cultivators are bought because when we didn't have a lot of money when we started out, they were 10 grand each, 9.5 or 9.8 metres, whatever they worked out, which is fantastic, these disc arrows. Um, I'm going to go bigger because we got money. Uh, I got more money back for the John Deere. Oh, I was going to say, you know the, the weird thing I was just having with the IBCs of liquid fertiliser? Um, I, I had to put those into the tanker, then the tanker unloaded into the greenhouses so my coffee is underway my two new tomato greenhouses are underway the tomatoes all distributed into my ketchup factory the coffee production at the moment is just storing but it seems quite rapid i thought it would take a while to produce some so i think we're gonna it's gonna all happen today i, I, I thought we'd have to go into the following day but i think we might be ahead of ourselves on it um I'm, when i say big for my cultivator i'm going I think I'm going like flexi coil size, 24 metre, like a big old, big old chungus. Uh, that's the plan. So we'll get rid of this. Like I say, this, the, the, the difference between the two, when you think, like I say, my two cultivators, and this probably, this is a false economy. These two cultivators I've got, or this one I'm returning, these are ridiculously cheap for what you get. But I've always said, most bang for your buck, that's what I go for. The realistic thing is, 
two of these together with two tractors pulling them at 20 meter width combined just under if i get the flexicore that's 24 meters which is only four meters wider than two of these two of these 20 grand the flexi coil 197,000. so but i but i want to go with something i can use one tractor with rather than having two tractors and having to worry about i say worry about it's not again it's the first world problems but when you get them if they're going different directions or depending on how you're doing it if they collide and you know it just kind of works out a little bit easier so what i'm going to do is we're going to repair it we're going to repaint it and we're going to get 8650 that's not too bad of a drop actually considering um and what we're going to do <laughs> this is a big chunk of money but we're going to get oh that's the point um contract here on field 34 is complete so i can um collect on that so that's 65,000 straight away we get that back um field 10's underway 77 percent complete but the next one's cultivating that's why i thought we'd do what we're going to do so i'm going to go to cultivators not discarriers this time and we've got this one out here i think it gives you option to, for it to be a subsoiler as well if you want it to be this one here multi-function let's say 197 grand 500 horsepower is required which this john deere unreal has got i'm going to leave it on spring tines you can have rollers you've got tool type cultivator or subsoiler but i'm going to leave it on that i'm going to i think i'm going to go red on it i'm going to go case red uh design color i think we're going to leave i think we'll leave it as it is rim color i think we might change the rim color why did that not change so i go past it i did rim color do i go white or there we go we'll go with that 197 grand so we're going to buy that <laughs> assuming of course we can get this through the town so we've got 460 grand left which is great um i have bought a front weight already that was 1800 because i thought with the, the weight of it on the back whilst it is on wheels we could probably do with it now because my production of my uh, coffee is going faster than I thought it was going to. I was looking at the cycles per month and not the recipe. I think the cycles is only 120, but the recipe is like 200 at a time or something, so this is a big bit of kit, isn't it? Could probably do with changing the wheels on this actually. Blimey. But I said I was going to put my, my roasting house. In here somewhere just thinking where i've got space that it won't overlap or get in the way of other things well here might work let's have a look so under production factories and oh it's that one there you go coffee roaster if i swing around that way i think it's going to overlap isn't it here yeah uh come around this way around oh that'd work if i can get close to the fence how close to the fence do I get? 80,025. It's 80,000, so that's barely any adjustment on that. I'll do a little bit of landscaping just to put these the sort of darker patches and stuff back down. But that's our roasting house. So technically, although I've got them on storing at the moment, I could put these onto... Yeah, uh, so if that's saying 134, 135 i'm sure i was in 200 and something already so i'm assuming i've got one pallet of each already so what i might do is put these both to distributing to bring them here oh we're gonna need fuel as well i didn't know that diesel okay we'll bring some diesel over as well so if i can get the coffee beans coming over to here we can get them roasting uh and then obviously then it'll be the coffee shop we need to put in and then alma make you a cup of coffee no just me then uh, so let's go with uh distributing on that one and we'll go distributing on that one and hopefully i have got some a couple just i just wanted to see what the pallets look like and bring them over and that kind of thing they'll come to here we'll get our coffee beans going and then if i want to i can then distribute them if i want to to the i know it's a sell point isn't it i'm sure it's a sell point we don't get pallets of coffee do we i think it's just a sell point but i want to get these things going first that, that was the plan like I said, I, I assumed I'd have to go into the next day before I had some coffee beans and before I could get them roasted. 
to get them to the coffee shop, but as it transpires, we might be all right. So what I've got to try and do now... <laughs> Turn that back on again. Um, now, obviously, this brings our money right down. So if I get... Because oh, I was at a point where I thought, if I buy a couple of harvesters, which I think we worked out was going to cost me 250 grand. Oh, no, we might still be all right if I decide I want to get a couple. I don't think I'm going to get through the town with this, am I? I need to wait for a gap in traffic. Didn't think this through, did I? No, sometimes there's bits of equipment that are just too big for where you are. This might be one of them. But I guess in, you, know, you probably wouldn't be taking a cultivator this size down Main Street, would you really? Not normally. Will I get through the uh, barriers? If I got an angle, I will. Just there. Yes, I'm thinking coffee shop here. Like I said, the, um, the wood sale's gone. That was seasonal. Should fit on there quite nicely. It'd be a nice place to have a little coffee shop. We've got the diner over there. We've got the pizzeria. Having a coffee shop in town. It's very modern. Oh, everything seems to be turning right. See if I can avoid hurting anybody as well as we go through. But it's going to be when we get past this turning. So everything seems to be turning in there. Just there, right. So if I can get past that before anything comes, we'll be all right. I've just realised I'm going to the wrong field. I need to be the next field over. So we'll go out to the main road. Oh, no. You know what we'll do? Let's go on the edge of the field. Luckily, we've got a big boundary here. So the field I'm heading for is 22 which is that one. So I need to, yeah, that's all trees. I need to go up to the end, across the top, and then we'll, oh, that's trees there. We'll come in here, I think. And we'll get cracking on that. How's that one looking? That's actually not too bad. I did set myself a nice thick edge here because I was worried about the um, plough overshooting and going onto my cornfield. If you remember way back early on, that did happen before. That's the last thing I need. I've been waiting for that cornfield to grow, which seems like forever now, but I know it hasn't been that long, but it feels like it. Right, I'll see the field in a minute. Let's get this unfurled. I might have to think of another way of getting this back. I haven't got anything. I've got no building big enough to store this in. This is one of those things that the woods will stay outside. I'm trying to get there as quickly as possible before any traffic comes. We're nearly there as the car arrives. Quick, 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 turn in. There we go. Fantastic. Right, let's get this opened up. Oh, I always forget how big these are. I'm trying to think the last time I used a flexi coil. This size. It's got to have been. I'm trying to think. Did I use one of these on Edgewater? Oh, maybe. I was just thinking it might have been Stone Valley way back, but it could have been Edgewater. I'm trying to think. I still have this thing. I don't know if it still does it. Where sometimes it goes at an angle. Like that. It doesn't always like slopes, hillsides. It sort of twists sideways. But to be fair, at 24 metres, with one tractor being used, once I can get a worker going, it frees up a tractor. That's not good. Okay. I think it's the tyres on this. It's the... Um, I have to raise that. I think it's the Unreal version of this John Deere. I've had it sometimes before on my test maps. The, the wheels get a bit slippy. I could probably do it putting some wider tyres or twins or even triples on for doing something like this. The other thing as well is, can I adjust the angle of... Yes, I can. If I adjust the angle of that, I can get a bit more weight over that back axle, which should stop that slipping, in theory. We'll see. Let's drop that back down. And get going. It doesn't like to start with it already in the ground. I suppose you should, really, like anything, ploughs, cultivators, you should be moving forward before you lower them. Right. This is going to take a while. If for some reason I had it in my head, it was the other field, the one that I did the sugar beet, uh, not the sugar beet, the parsnip harvesting, but that was uh, the next field over. 
this was the one that I was hoping I was going to get the uh, soybean contract, but it was not to be. That being said, this is this pays out really well. The other one was 65. This is 55, isn't it? I'm, I'm not knocking 55 grand. And to be fair, any cultivating jobs we get coming up after this, if we get any up after this, we've got this big old bit of kit. I'm keeping the other smaller one. Because if we get any cultivating jobs on smaller fields, this might be a bit too cumbersome for smaller fields. I don't know. I mean, we could get rid of the other one. Be another eight grand back, wouldn't it, I suppose? Oh, yeah, this is a big field, isn't it? <laughs> Okie dokie, then. We're going big here on Elmo. We're going big. Turn the beacon off now. Whoa. I've set a worker going just for the moment over on field 22. Field 10 is done. I'm going to take this plough back, get it returned, because I've got no other ploughing contracts and the last one's cultivating, so we're good. Our corn is still growing. I'm going to head back over and check on the coffee bean situation, because I'm assuming we've got a box of each there. I might give this a bit of a clean up. That's looking filthy already. We've done two big ploughing contracts. It seems to be coping no problem. We'll either transport this back or the uh, lease company will come and collect it. Whichever way around. So what I might do is leave it here rather than take it all into the yard. Got enough room to get through here. Yeah, I've got no soup there. Actually, we might get the... Um, just thinking, we might get the big old cultivator under here, might we? Don't want to turn that on. Yeah, might fit under there. that gap right okay that's all the um, silage we've got left in this clamp so the stuff that's gone off the biogas plant that's all left out, that's all that's left out of this one and obviously then we've got the 900 and I, I still didn't work out what it was 919 991 but it doesn't matter it's 900,000 plus in that one so we can keep the biogas plant going for quite some time Let's go and check on our coffee. Our coffee. How would you write that? If I was going to write coffee. Q U? I don't know. We have. So compared to the tomatoes, which seems to take forever, these are pretty good. There we go. There's our first set. Oh, that's why. They're only 400 litre boxes. No, hang on. No, they're not. What am I talking about? That's a thousand. I'm looking at the wrong one. Pallet is the top one. Bottom right, top one, one thousand. We've got 404 already in here, so these are actually going really quickly. So on the hour, whatever's in there will automatically distribute. These two will stick in the back of the pickup. We'll take those over to the roasting house. Oh, diesel. I've got to get some diesel in there. Now, I can't remember. You know what? I do need a slurry tank. I'm, I'm spending money hand over fist here, aren't I? Um, I've gone bonkers uh is under miscellaneous what tankers is it it was these ones wasn't it that do everything fuels yeah because i the, the tanker i've got does everything including methane but doesn't do slurry or digestate so i was going to get one of these wasn't i so the question is do i go twenty thousand liters or two hundred thousand liters twenty thousand liters um i've used these on various different maps i like them a lot they work really well um, so, I'm going to change that or that. That I will go for. I used to give you an option for galvanised. That doesn't seem to be there anymore. Petrol metal. I suppose that is it, isn't it? Sort of a hammered galvanised look, yeah. And we'll change that to. Doesn't really matter. We'll just go darker on that. Grey, maybe. Yeah. Rim colour. 
I've got a dark on that as well. Buy that for 5,800. Right, so I can get some diesel. Get that bought over. Not bought over. Up to the um, other factory. What do I need to do? Load these onto a trailer. I suppose I'm heading over anyway to pick up the trailer. This needs a clean. Right. Getting ahead of myself. I need to check on that cultivator for a minute as well. Got my two pallets of coffee beans. These should just unload right here somewhere. There we go. That's that done, so we'll just need the diesel now. I'll just leave the trailer there and we'll come back to that in a moment. Actually, what I can do, I'm going to do the same thing on this as I've done before, I can set this to distributing or to selling, I think, when we're done. But the first few I want to actually get the uh, get the pallets. So I can bring the forklift over, because the forklift we're not using now for loading trailers over here. So I'll bring the forklift over. Let's with whiz over to Strickland Propane. Pick up some diesel. I'm not going to get a huge amount. Maybe a couple of thousand litres. I don't know how much the thing takes, but that should just get us going. thinking while we're here should we get the coffee shop built you know what let's do it let's put it just here on here and there we have it 55 grand later is our cafe it says drive through I haven't left enough room around the back to drive around it but you can drive around here and do a loop past the window and back out again Actually, I'm curious now. This now is just just a sell point. I'm looking at it thinking, I don't need to provide these things, do I? Frappe. I had a very bad incident with a frappe years ago. We used to have a bookshop in town um, and at a coffee shop, sort of in it, so you could buy a book, go and sit and have a coffee. Myself and Miss Silly P went, I thought, you know what? I'm going to get a frappe. So I got an iced frappe, and it was great. I got brain freeze. I mean, proper. I thought I was having a brain hemorrhage. I've never known pain like it in my life. Mrs. P looks across the table laughing at me. Terrible. Terrible behaviour. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to buy you a coffee. What would you like? Which one of these would be your preference? Is that espresso? Not espresso. Anyway, I'll choose my coffee later on. Happy with that. Right, let's go and get the diesel. I need to get this roasting going so we can at least get something bought over here. And we can get coffee production underway. For anyone that's driving through town, anyone that's starting their day, you can pop in, grab a coffee. I'm not trying to take away business from the diner. The diner will still operate as it does. But having the drive through there, at least people can whiz in and out if they don't want to stop for breakfast or anything like that. But if they want to, there's a cafe as well. So this should just be here, I think. Like I said, I don't want to get too much. Oof. That'll do. For the time being, it will get us underway anyway. And then on the hour, which isn't too far away now, we can get some more stuff put in. It will be almost, if not nearly a thousand litres from each greenhouse more. 
I didn't even look at the recipe either. All I looked and saw was we needed the uh, coffee beans and diesel, so... We're about to find out. That contract on the big field is going to take some time. <laughs> I'm, 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 I think I'm glad. I, I could go and get the other... Actually, I'm thinking about getting the other cultivator. I'm running both of them. So we'll be at over 30 metres of combined cultivating goodness. Which I think might not be a bad idea. Close it to the side here, there we go. Into the tank. Probably leave this actually over here because. Oh, actually, no, I might need it if I need to move slurry from our slurry store but for the time being I can leave it there right let's have a look shall we so we've got a coffee bean raw we've got a diesel 500 yeah so it's a 500 it's a pretty much a one-to-one -one. we just lose the diesel a little bit which is you know if I wanted to I could try and find something to produce diesel as well but you know what I'm happy to buy it we've got enough contracts coming up we're making enough money every month so coffee bean roasted, once we get our first one of those, I'll get the, the um, actually I can't get that now, I'll get the uh, forklift over here and we'll get at least one pallet over there so we can get some coffee on the go, get a brew on. Where did I leave it? There it is, just over there. I'm still getting a surplus Actually, I probably do need to bring some more. I've still got 14,000 litres of potatoes in here from a potato harvest. When I dropped it all off, that was left over. I need to collect that and take that over to the uh, soup factory. Uh, but sugar is distributing, but it's distributing out, and I've still got 7,000 litres sat in here. So every now and again, what I'm doing is put it on storing. It knocks a few pallets out here, and then put it back onto distributing. I sell the pallets that are here, and it just carries on chucking away. I've got plenty of sugar beet, plenty of sugar beet cut in there. That's going to keep making sugar for ages, so we shouldn't have to worry about that at all. Brilliant. Uh, do, 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 do. Right. So I will either see you when my first pallet of coffee bean is ready, or the cultivating job is done. Whichever comes first. I'm thinking. Well, I was actually saying that. I don't know. over off the road and I would say it's every episode but we've made quite a lot of progress actually in this episode with more equipment and more machinery and a whole new coffee set up and new greenhouses and that kind of thing how far we've come since we started we didn't own any of this we didn't have the corn dry we didn't own the grain mill I've now got the all-in-one production we own the bakery but you know all the stuff I've said about before all the products we're making the harvests we've done, the contracts we're doing. Turn it off. Awesome. Right. Uh, I suppose I should now. I'll take the trailer back. Yep. We're on 20 litres of coffee being roasted already, so. Shouldn't take too long. I'll turn it again, turn the engine off. a bit it's 11.03 and I'm done well I say I'm done <laughs> when I say, oh, that's it I'm done I'm walking away um, my as you've seen the cultivating contract is done I didn't go back to that we were almost I mean within 10 minutes of finishing that my first coffee bean um, or dry beans are done. I end up taking the second track to the McCormick with the other cultivator. So we were running about 30, 33 meters of combined cultivating goodness. Uh, but something I hadn't noticed, I'd, 
which when I was setting this up, once it was running and had the diesel in, as you can see bottom right, um, we've had stuff has been coming over from the other um, from the other from the greenhouses. But what I love is this, I didn't even notice this before. Look. Classic coffee roasting machine of the Inferno. So it's roasting them in there, coming out here, cooling it down as it goes around there. And there's our first one. Java lava. So let's take it over and I'll make you a coffee. Um, now I'll, I'll take back what I said earlier as well. Um, I was under the impression, I always have been, that the word is espresso. Um, and when people say espresso, you see it on the telly a lot and stuff like that, you're like, oh man, you know, it's, it's very easy done. And it's kind of a, a common misconception that it's espresso and not espresso. So when I said that earlier, I thought, oh, I'm going to look it up because, you know, there's, there's bound to be something online, normally for grammar and you know, that kind of stuff. If there's words that people get the wrong way round or you know once I've talked about before supposedly and supposedly um, when people talk about um, something being addictive um, people will often say something's addicting which isn't a word it's addictive so I thought have a look well apparently in the UK and the US espresso is the word that is used in other parts of the world including France which surprised me um, espresso with the X is used um, which again, kind of su surprised me, I don't, you know, so apparently it's interchangeable. Espresso, espresso, it's entirely up to you, you choose. So the sign isn't wrong, I take it back and I'm sure people have already commented to tell me that, but I tend to get back around <laughs> at some point, I should put the beak on really. So like I say, now this isn't a production now, so I haven't got it. It would be cool though, if you brought water and all the bits and bobs and milk and stuff, and you could then sort of, let's say, order a coffee. It seems a bit crazy, really, doesn't it? But our coffee shop is good to go. And all in less time than I assumed it would take. So... There you go, that's not too bad. The coffee has been delivered, therefore anybody arriving from now to purchase their coffee can do so. With impunity, that's probably not the way of putting it, is it? Um, but they can do so and they can enjoy it. And that's it for this episode. Like I said, for the start, not what I was intending to do. I was going to do a big old soybean harvest. As it's turned out, we've done two massive ploughing contracts. We've done a large cultivating contract. We've got new greenhouses. We've got a new tractor. We've got a new cultivator. We've done a whole load of stuff in this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.